Hi, I'm Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the Movie Picks Guides. And today we're going to look at a great little program that is available absolutely free. It's available, unfortunately, only for PCs, Windows-based computers. It's not available for the Mac. But you can do similar things on a Macintosh. And I may actually do a tutorial at some point to show you how to do it on a Macintosh. Fairly self-explanatory. And I do show you how to do it in my books. But what we want to do is take video TS files and ISO files and and burn them to a disk. And let me just show you where those files are. I have them out on my desktop now. And you can see that I have created a folder here called DVD files. And here is what a typical DVD looks like. The DVD files are in a folder called Video TS. And when I open it up, I have VOB files, which are the video files, IFO files, which are the navigation files, and BUP files, which are backup files. And we're going to burn that to a disk. Also out here on the desktop, I have an ISO file. An ISO file is essentially the same files, except they're all packaged into just a single image file. So you don't have to mess with a whole folder full of them. You can just grab the ISO file and the program that I'm going to show you or whatever DVD burning software you're using or disk burning software you're using will interpret the ISO file and turn it back into DVD files, AVCHD files, or Blu-ray files that it can burn to a, a, a disk. But I want to show you there's something a little bit tricky about Image Burn. That is I-M-G-B-U-R-N. It's available at imageburn.com. It's a great, great little program, but it does have a lot of kind of, not malware, but a lot of adware built into it. Junk I don't like, and I'll show you how to get around that. But meantime, I'm just going to download the latest release, and we'll grab it from one of these mirror sites, and then we'll click the download button and let it download. Now, it's going to walk us through the process, but here's where you want to watch your step. Click Next on the first screen. Accept the terms. That's okay. Let it go ahead and build icons and shortcuts if you'd like. Let it go ahead and install to the location it wants to install. Here's where it gets tricky. See how it says Typical Installation Recommended? It's going to change your home page, your search default, and it's going to add some more junk to your computer. Here's how to get around that. Click Custom Installation. Then you can uncheck these options. Click Next. And once again, it's going to try to install another thing, My Radio Player. Select Custom Installation again. Uncheck that option. Then let it go and it's going to install Image Burn onto your computer. So a couple things to watch out for, but if you just sidestep that, you'll get a terrific little program. Go ahead and close my browser and it is done. So we'll start up Image Burn and Image Burn will always generate a log for you. Don't let that confuse you. It's just down here collecting information. Don't worry about it. The only thing you need to worry about is whether you want to burn an image to your disk or folder files to your disk. If we select the option to write an image to our disk, then we simply browse to the image or the ISO file that we want to burn. And we'll select it. It's right there. And if I select open, now it's all set to go. I have a DVD in my disk drive. This would be exactly the same process if you were burning a Blu-ray disk. And again, a Blu-ray disk can be represented by an ISO file just as a DVD file can. So once I've selected that, I just click this button here and it's going to write that ISO file to my disk and it's going to create a disk complete with navigation and the videos in it. I'm going to cancel that process right now. And now let's look at how to write folders or files to your DVD. So if instead of working from an ISO, we're going to be working here from our DVD folder file. And here we'll select write files and folders to a disk. But make sure you select this, the option to burn a folder. Because here, let me open this up again and show it to you. Here's my desktop. This is the folder we want to burn. It's got Jason at Play is the name of the particular DVD. And I only want to burn this video TS folder, but I want the entire folder. I want all of these files in it. So that's what I'm going to select as the folder that I want to burn. So I don't want to burn individual files here. I want to burn this entire video TS folder. Don't worry about open DVD. That's just some extra resources here that are not necessary to the creation of your DVD. So select the option to burn or browse to a folder and then browse to that particular video TS folder. So I'm going to go in here, my DVD files, Jason at play and select the video TS folder. Once I've done that, 
I click the option to build or to burn my disk and it's going to create my DVD along with all the video and all the navigation based on the video TS folder that we got them from. So it's very simple, a great little program for doing it. You don't need it, of course, Nero will work. The Mac operating system has a built-in disk utility that will work. It's possible, I think you may be able to do it with some versions of Windows, the Windows operating system, but I love this program. One of the things I love about it is that it has the option to verify. And this, this is available whether you're burning an image file or you're burning file folders to a disk. And what it's going to do is burn the entire DVD or Blu-ray disk, and then it's going to go back and it's going to check the integrity of that burn. Now this doesn't guarantee that your disk is going to play on every single disk player in the world. But I'll tell you something, I've used it and I've had well over 95%, almost 100% ability of people to play home burned DVDs on their DVD players or on their disc player. So it's a great little program, Image Burn, available at imgburn.com. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. We hope to see you again real soon.